What's up, Spikelings? The stream's only source of entertainment, Esther here, welcoming you back to the Shark Typhoon. Today, we're changing things up with actual jokes and some real joy in the stream. So sit back, relax, and get ready to have fun for a change. I pro I, I'm going to get there plenty of time. I'm going to get there like an hour and a half before boarding. Nobody running a Taurus. My friend Tony is. <laughs> but Tony's a, a crazy, crazy bastard. No, I I I look I, I looked at the TSA pre-check. That shit is too expensive. That shit is pay to play, baby. It's too much. I got I have to buy into timeless. You think I can TSA pre-check? I hope Tony wins. I also hope Tony wins. I love Tony. Tony's the best. Tony's also the luckiest guy I know. Like, li literally the luckiest guy I know. So if anybody's going to win with Quintorius, it'll be him. Tony has found, like, a like he's, he's, he's one of the only people I know who's ever had, like, a crazy, like, magic thrift store haul where he found a box with, like, a bunch of Badlands and, like, other, like, legacy reanimator staples. Tony has also been hit by a cop car, by cop cars twice, twice, and gotten settlements both times. The American dream. Tony was the uh, secretary or the like treasurer of a League of Legends teams at our college, and they won the national championship. And he got like a full a full ride of college for, from from being that. Uh, <laughs> he's just it's just like nonstop. Tony Luck, Luck, Luck box to, uh, stories. He's just the luckiest ever. So lucky you have a car twice. The, the American dream is getting hit by a cop car, being fine, and getting a settlement. That is the way to build gener generational wealth in this country. The only path. The only path. <laughs> the only path. And, and also, like, actually getting the fucking money from the police, because that shit is not easy either. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that or you become a streamer and end, end, end of list one two three four five. Oh, sorry i thought i had, uh i thought this was a castle so i have six mana i can i can at least kill this I think of some more Tony stories. Maybe if Jeff is still in this chat, he has some. Oh, okay. So Tony also we 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 play F and M. Tony would play four thunderous wrath and burn, and there was like two or three weeks in a row. I would go. I would be on the play against Burn with Grixis Delver. I would have a turn two Tassiger on the play, which is like legitimately one of the only ways I feel like you am I dead? I go to I go to one. Okay, I go to one. Um I feel like turn two Tassiger on the play was one of the only ways you could realistically um you could realistically uh beat Burn and two or three weeks in a row he would just thunderous wrath it <laughs> on that first turn. It was so crazy. And no and nobody was surprised because it was Tony. All right, let's gain five, make a four, four. Might even attack. Let's not attack. Pre-check too expensive. It's like 80 for five years. When did you get it? Because I looked it up. It was hundreds of dollars when I looked it up. I don't know if I like was in the wrong place or something. Warden and Knight Errant. I was looking at clear instead of pre-check. Okay, cool. I'll I'll look into it. <laughs> Seventy bucks for five years. Okay, that's. I I I. I uh, what is clear then? What like what is that? Sounds made up. Okay, so they play the warden. They play the knight. 
They put an Ornithopter and an Epicure into their hand. I mean, if they have another one of these, oh, they've got this. Could lose. I think I'm fighting, uh, fighting a knight here. No, sorry, let's fight, let's fight a warden. Warden just gives them, like, the, the ability to dig for recruiter if they don't already have it. I'm also, I'm probably dead to a recruiter. I'm not sure, though. Four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine creatures. I have six blockers. Uh, and I, and if I block, I think I'm going to one again if they have a recruiter. Oh, but the, the, the recruiter is, I forgot to count the recruiter. I think I'm dead. Also, they have, yeah, they have this and, uh, Ornithopter, right? Okay. Tough, tough, tough. Very good draw by them. Lose to Boros twice would be kind of weird. I've been beating the, up on them, obviously, like, lose any matchup. Could we kept up Blair as a blocker? We could have. We're still dead, though. Yeah, maybe we, maybe we could. I don't think we could have made a layer, a, a wolf full of token, and killed the thing. Maybe I could have. I only I didn't have to do it for that much actually. Okay, so I play Citadel, Castle, Mystic, and then I guess I go. I keep the Hydra so I can play that the turn before the Hornet Queen. There's clear precheck and global entry. Clear is more much more expensive than precheck. And doesn't seem to be worth it over pre-check. Global entry is very helpful for travel internationally. Ton, you grow brown hundred percent worth it. Cool. Global entry is pretty cool sounding. Also, the goal of the deck seems to be Castle Grimmer Lines. Why there's so many seven drops? They, there's not. There's not enough good six drops to play. We we our first draft had like Uvudwald Hydra, Gruff Triplets. Uh, we tried also Torvlar's Huntmaster. And like, and like, those are the best ones. <laughs> those are the best ones. How do deck text work nowadays? And what are channel point commands? What are channel commands to checkpoints? Channel commands to checkpoints. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to make a joke and I can't figure out what it is. Like, like usual on the channel, I guess. Thank you for the resub. Deck techs are channel point only these days. And a few monstrous onslaughts we get on the sideboard. Yeah, channel point only deck techs. X damage. Uh, I, I, would, I would probably never register this card. Yeah, no, I, it seems like pretty win more. So they get a, an inspector and a resolute reinforcements. Oh, channel commands to checkpoints. So you can just see them on your thing. I, I didn't understand what you're asking. Yeah, they they, sh they should just be visible. Okay, I'm taking four. Should get this. We, we can go Mystic into Hornet Queen next turn. Follow it up with a Titan of Industry the turn after. What's up? You're playing from DFW, not Love Field, right? Uh. <laughs> okay, probably still leaving the Hydra back here. Why did you feel the need to move Hornet Queen back to the sideboard? Uh, the popularity of Amelia combo made me want to play Hydra, um, Vivian really badly. Titan's been the best one by a good lot. It's just so versatile. And Titan's also not that bad against Amelia combo because you can get the shield counter up. Um, and then also I was kind of I was expecting Boros to be on the decline, um, which maybe we just want to have these in the sideboard. And Boros is also like still not that bad of a matchup even. Even with them in the sideboard, like Hydra plus Titan's a pretty good combo against them. If 
forget what creatures they have. Yeah, Boris is so bad against Demelia. I would think that maybe people play it less, maybe not. Also, I, it's also possible they just like side. They could figure out like a good sideboard plan for the matchup. It does feel good that we're just like still beating these draws a lot of the time too. I need his path to exile. I mean, you could, there's a lot of removal spells that kill Amelia for one mana. This can focus us every game. No, this is pretty above average, I think. Although, you know, I've been running kind of above average today. We start attacking with um, just the Hydra here. We're at twenty. I I just don't. I, maybe maybe I'm dying to a recruiter in Pioneer, and even I'd count it out. Sorry, one second. Any idea why Titans work that way in Moto instead of picking modes? Yeah, I, I don't. I have no idea. It's kind of weird. You're not dying? I don't know. I have one, two, five, six, seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, Warden's really good at their deck. Oh, right. Unlike Confluence, you can't choose to say build multiple times. Shocks and Sacred Foundry. Might be dead to resolute reinforcements plus recruiter. I don't think I am. I don't know that they want to do the math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 17 attackers. 2, 7, 8, 9 blockers. Yeah, I'm alive. Think this is you know I I I've been saying this a lot I guess today but this is this is one of the best Boros draws I've ever seen again uh, and we are gonna beat it I think although they're getting kind of lazy with their math maybe although are they are they attacking with everything they're clicking one at a time I don't know, maybe I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure they have enough one power creatures we're alive Boros normally have a pretty good draw it's weird I don't I mean I've played a lot of I've prepped a lot for this event. I'd say like the last two matches we played against Boros, they've they've run better than like maybe any other match I've played against them so far. But I don't know. Why are you putting recruited deck if not hitting special attack call button? Well, I mean, I don't know. They should have <laughs> done the math before casting the cards. You know, I've been pretty guilty. Ah, uh, <laughs> breaks getting pumped. Okay, <laughs> they leave two things back. It's a vibe, I guess. Okay, take eight. Took ten. I don't know. Okay, so I have, uh, if I send with everything, they have to block with only one creature. They have three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. Plus another seven if they chef at dunes. So if they chef at dunes and I play land of elves and just attack with Titan, what happens? I block here, 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 and I take eight and don't die. Should have pumped with Castle Garen Brig. I do like Weather Runestone is Rex for Lotus. Rex is for Lotus and Control. Emrakul is a Vivian target. That's pretty good. Uh, Runestone is, I think, very good against uh, Amelia combo. Stops like 11 of their cards, all their tutors. So much combat math. Yeah, I really feel like um, specifically like testing with Reed this summer made me a lot better at these kind of board states. I used to get kind of overwhelmed and like kind of impulsive and um, 
played too fast, but Reed was like really good about just like, you know, taking his time to like figure out every single board state in a way that I, I feel like I learned a lot from this summer. Okay, so definitely gonna fight that Hydra. Let's so fight that Loxodon. Experiments with Copter, is it merely mid, or are you just not enjoying playing it? I, I think it's kind of mid, yeah, I, I don't know. I It's fine. Okay, so I have 11 Trample. They can animate here, so they're going to have 5, 6, 7 Toughness. Super dead. But I, I, I don't know, like, this is the deck I was having the most success with by a pretty significant margin. We were doing well with other builds too. Like we, we played a lot of different builds and I spent a lot of time hammering out the build I was I felt was the best and that's what this is and I'm pretty happy with it. Rudy Zargar is the most stoic and patient player in the game. Yeah, it's just such a valuable skill. Sam with the forty three months, thank you, welcome back. But Cupper's fine. It's like when I when I call it mid, it's just like it's a good two-drop in Pioneer, and in a, in a format where there aren't that many good two-drops, but the card is, like, slow, and, like, I've been I've been casting I've been casting a lot of, like, Titan of Industries, and I've been casting a lot of Hornet Queens, and so the card has definitely been looking less impressive because of that. Want to play a more competitive deck? A Kogil and Convoker Lotus? I mean, I would maybe say Lotus long-term. Uh... It's a bit, maybe a bit riskier of the deck. I don't know. What's the filter land? Castle Garen, Brig, and Nykthos. Sam with the 43 months. Thank you. Welcome back. And say so you beat the draw. Best draws to matches in a row. I've seen a convoke. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really nice that this has happened in both game twos. You just beat you just beat their like really really good draws. But obviously, like you know, last time we built a five game three and on the draw weren't fast enough. Um, game game one, we you know we did lose fair and square, of course. Novice Inspector? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know if that, like, appreciably changes the deck, but it does seem like a little bit of an upgrade. I don't know how many you play. It's probably not, like, the full 12. Uh, gotta keep this, I think. Well. Okay, so we go Sunken Citadel, Nykthos, Wolf, Willow Haven on turn two. Turn three, Kiora plays Citadel tapped. And then we likely can play a Hornet on turn four. I think because my opponent's mulligan to six, I'm going to keep. What is the Viv in the sideboard? They're in the main deck. We boarded them out. But they're Vivian uh, Archbow Ranger. Yeah, it was very funny when Gavin said, excuse me. Queen is just, it just <laughs> she just fucking wins the game. It's crazy. Okay, I like this draw I like this draw a lot does it runestone stop cascade nope uh, it doesn't stop cards from exile it stops non -land per it stops from graveyards or libraries so it stops um coco it stops it stops greasefing returning parhelion it stops um Uh, collected company stops returning to the ranks. Third Boris in a row. No, they just this has been the Boris opponents have just been super slow. Sack that clue token. As like Fergus Blue White. I think their favorite game one and your favorite post board with the T Rexes. They get a, a warden and a resolute reinforcements. They play the warden. Probably activate the warden. We're going to take a big hit next turn and hopefully stabilize with Hornet Queen. Uh, if we draw like a Hydra or a Troll. Oh my gosh. The nuts. Although, how, what's the best way to do this? So I can go Besage you onto Haven and play a 2-2 two, two Troll. I can play Kiora, untap Citadel. Hmm. No, never, never, ever bring in damping sphere against them. It, it, it hurts your stuff too much. It's only for Lotus, I think, and Quintoris combo, I guess. All right, it feels like this has to be the line. Just two, three Hydra. 
little speed bump on the way to Hornet Queen being a big speed bump. Could maybe play both of these next turn if they if I have both of these in play also. I'm not sure. Just so this would be two plus activate Nykthos four five. So this is seven eight mana. So that's one short of like playing one of these and then untapping the Nykthos. But if we were to draw an untapped land, I think we'd be able to play both. What asking cast from library? Yeah, it, it's it's yeah, collected company and court of calling is what we're trying to target with these. Is it worth it to kill one one as a double? I think it's better to have a good block here. I'm not 100 percent sure. Be interesting if they kill the Kiora. They probably people just don't like to kill Kiora. If I just chump blocking, I don't think I just chump blocking. I was taking the hit from the four four. Okay, but although maybe now I am. <laughs> yeah, Kiora just yeah. I need to keep Kiora. I do wonder if it's better to Titan so I get the draw to. Not sure. We avoid playing Jailer in the sideboard for Coco and Cord because it can be pushed. As long as Jailer doesn't stop Coco and Cord, does it? Perfect cards in graveyard can't battlefield. Not can't cast Dunker, you're supposed to graveyard exile. Yeah, it does, doesn't stop it. Okay, do they have land recruiter? Shouldn't you activate for two land man instead? I, I did, I thought. I meant to. It doesn't change what I can do this turn if I didn't. Okay, maybe maybe Convoke does just do this every game. I've just played against like bad <laughs> pilots or something. Any sense to run cage? Uh this card stops Grease Fing. That's the that's the only only difference, and it is a pretty meaningful difference. Stuck these bomb in the side, Nambo with the uh, Hornet Queen. You created Boris Convoke. I did it modern, like that. That is where this deck came from. Is like my modern build that do make ported into Pioneer. Team effort. Maybe monsters. I I will never. I I could not imagine registering monsters on slot. Smash is also good. Like, we're still, like, I think, favored to win from this point. <laughs> they hit an Ornithopter and another Knight Errant. Oh, my gosh. Maybe not. Is that all four? One, two... Wait, it's all... Three, three. Okay. Okay, they had a Giant Killer and an Epicur. Hopefully, we can draw some uh, action off our Kiora to get, you know, two more cards off the Titan... So let's go tap a Sage you for Elf. Nykthos. Nine mana. Five life, make a four, four, draw two. Two more Kioras, huh? All right, let's uh, untap this so we have layer activation up, I guess. Although, actually, I guess I'd rather just make a wolf this turn. Your turn. Probably did do a recruiter. So I did not draw a relevant card in the top three like that, but at least Kuori is still alive to draw those two cards. If they have recruiter, good chance they just cast it, close their eyes. They do have it. Did They, they didn't reveal it, right? I'm pretty sure they just drew it. Not 100% sure, I guess. This is too much. Okay, so I'm taking six, seven, eight, nine. Plus 12. It's 21. Are my blocks as good as they can be? 
Could do something like this and keep uh keep the four four. So this this would be twelve. Okay, so sorry, sorry, this is nine, thirteen, thirteen plus six, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. So this attack puts me to this block puts me to one life. And I keep my I have eleven power plus the lair to kill them. Alright, I hope this is right. Let's go. Math really do be for blockers, um. Elf on four three. Okay, oops. Okay, we're gonna look in this one. Don't have too much more time before I gotta get uh ready to go. Yeah, I'm playing this in Atlanta. Okay, probably putting back second Citadel. Maybe puts back second Elf, actually. It was worth going after Cure after all. I mean, I had two more Cures in the hand, so it would have been good for me if they did, right? Or you mean the turn that they did? Of course. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I mean, it maybe Chump Block with the Hydra, though. If they attacked me, I, I think I could have... Well, I, I, I didn't undraw the land, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Up, up against blue white. Okay, kind of glad that they countered that because they could have just fielded my sunken citadel. Also, now this means my castle is untapped. Come on, Magic Online, you could resolve a field of ruin trigger. If I play against Doom in the early rounds, I should have Mercy. No. No. What's the Karate Kid line? Team or Sabretooth is really cool. Trigger's QR draw. A little bit uh, dopey. So I'm going to cast an elf. I'm going to play a top sunken citadel. Once this shit loads back in. Canister, thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well today. Not going to be on too much longer. Going to catch a flight soon. Welcome to all the faithless looters. I think I just slam Vivian this turn. It's a little bit weird, but uh, if they have Deluge or Emperor this turn, I'm kind of happy if they cast either instead of um, dealing with this Vivian. They could maybe like Deluge into a Get Lost for it, but I have um, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, only nine mana. So I can't quite Ulamog next turn. A mana short. Good T Rex next turn, though. Hey, let's let's uh, not attack into Inniper. Would it make sense to swap one Horn of Queen's Main for one Titan of Industry? The way Vivian can tutor for a Titan as well. Um, I don't I don't think so. It, you're not really tutoring for Titan very often. I think. Um, it's it's it, it, it would be okay if you did that. Like Titan Titan drawing two. Um, Titan drawing two is a really big deal when with a cure in play. So I have two card types in my yard. I mean, I almost feel like I should just get Emrakul. So that this is six, seven, eight. Hmm. It's interesting they minus on the elf instead of the Vivian also. Let's go for the T-Rex, I think. That card's pretty good against them. What made you so do true? Ogre Troll. The realization that like Phoenix and Rakdos were likely going to be the two most popular decks... And um, I was beating up on Boros a lot. 
as you can see, like even the, them having their really good draws, like you were, I'm beating them without Pelucranos. Um, a lot of the time, which makes me feel like I can. Oh, this stepped a little bit. That's okay. We'll just do this. Yeah, Vivian was the real card all along. I guess if they minus on the Vivian, I just tacked the Teferi, huh? They got three cards in their hand. Farewell. That's pretty good. <laughs> Although that means if they... To get rid of T-Rex, they're going to have to use a Sweeper, though. Sorry, I should have played the Haven first. Now I can't... Oh, I can... Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah, I, no, I can't play Haven, and if they Sweeper, sack Old Growth Troll. So let's just save the Haven, I guess. No weird game. Got three cards in their hand. I guess Get Lost does kill this uh, T Rex now. Okay, you got eight poison counters, opponent. So I think, is their plan to kill me with the uh, Hall of the Storm Giants? Seems like it might be. I guess maybe I should maybe I should just not play the elf. Cuz if I if I want them to activate hall here, I mean it's just not lethal, so I guess it's one short always, right? 6, yeah, 13. They could have just minus them for next turn. That's true, yeah. Kind of seems like their plan is maybe going to be to like attack with this trawler and then sweeper. I'm pretty behind about that. Yeah, I, I've definitely killed some people with infect counters. Wow, no attacks. I mean, they're just dead if this connects. So what's the plan? Hall of the Storm Giants on defense lose to Besaidu? Seems like that's their plan. I think I'll just pay for ward also. Because the trample may, like, fuck up their block. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it, it, I, I believe that any amount of damage is for poison. Not like I have anything else to do with my mana. I guess I have this. Shout out to Besaidu. T-Rex is like unbelievably good against them. Infect kill and pioneer. <laughs> Alright, T Rex is in. Hydra's out. Submit button clicked. That was a melee matchup. I've beaten it more than I've lost to it, but I would I would have a losing record against it if my opponents had played better. Um it's about as good as it's going to get with uh four Vivian. Uh four Hydra and the Cityscape leveler in the main, plus runestones in the side. It's like Short of playing like four rune stones on the side or something, or like you know two more sideboard cards, it's it's not getting a lot better. I feel like I'm kind of main decked for it. Um, would prefer to not play against it. No spaghetti monster. I I think you could bring in one, and leave the other one to like Vivian for. But I Vivian for both Eldrazi against Blue White in the same game enough that I think you just leave them both in the sideboard. Uh, I'm probably have to mulligan this one. Gab, thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Just doing some last minute regional championship practice. I'm leaving for my flight in a couple hours. Can you channel Besage with only one Oh, I can, yeah.
been hornet queening not only gab but other people too yeah pretty good win rate i'm a little bit, i'm worried about abelia but i'm just kind of too late in the game to to pivot i think ding 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 I also just cast second oath here. I have to take forest. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Any life gain card in green? If the, we have four of these at the main. Oh, anti life gain card in green. Yeah, I couldn't find like one like Frostodon or the the closest thing I think is Vornclex, but it just like. It just forces a draw to play Vorinclex, which seems like not a great plan. There's, there is maybe something I've missed. If, if, but we also did a brainstorm earlier, and I, I don't think anybody else could think of one. If y'all can think of a creature that stops Amelia combo, I'll put, I'll put one in my deck before Decklister do. I think I should probably cast Vivian next turn, because like next turn is there. Um, not attack into Typhoon. Next turn is there like Deluge slash. Um, uh, Emperor turn, and if they're like holding up counter magic on that turn, um, and they have to use that instead of playing their four drop, it's kind of a good swing in our favor. Uh, plus, I also get to play around like their like sensor card, the land. How many black sources can you produce besides Citadel? I think it's just Citadel. We can make blue off <laughs> Kiora with Nykthos in play. Some tail swipes. I mean, I have I have four hydras. I have four Vivians. I have a cityscape leveler. I have weather rune stood on the sideboard. Don't think I want to play tail swipe. Is it clockwise? Guess they think I have like storm in the festival or something. Yeah, like I, I think a, a red splash for a frostedon is ambitious, but okay. I I kind of like when they lock down and you have oath of Mist in play, and then you tighten and you get your. Oath trigger again. Best draws Castle Garen big by a good amount, of course. Regretting I didn't take that forest. Take a sunken citadel, I guess, and then should be pretty safe to lair this turn since like I don't wait, does Get Lost kill this? Oh, it's not non land. I'm gonna get in anyways. Putting them to sixteen means two Titan tri hits kill them. I have two Titans, so Any land is good. Guess Graham brings the best. We'll take that because now we can just cast a Titan next turn. I I, I believe thirty two PT invites at the PT or at the RC. T Master with the eleven. Thank you. Welcome back. Not feeling lucky enough to try to Castle Garen or Oath of Descent the Castle Garen Brig. Led you to cut beanstalks. Vivian, I felt like I really needed speed against like specifically Lotus combo. And Vivian was that. And then Vivian's also like removal against uh, Amelia, so just like the best way to be. Amelia, uh, Vivian was like immediately obviously the best plan that I had. Like after I started playing it, it was like, it was very clear that it was better than anything else I had tried. How's this against Lotus? It's, it's pretty play draw dependent, but I think they're favored overall. I'm feeling pretty comfy if I win the die roll against them. It's like a 4-4 shark. Flashback Deluge that realize I don't have enough mana. Then cast Deluge from hand. If you're desperate, you can play Giant Growth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm that desperate. I, I have been beating Amelia more than I've been losing to it. Um, But I don't know. I, I would have also lost to better players. But I also like recently added the Weathered Runestones. I'm just going to play my matches, I think. I'm pretty happy with the 35. The Ronus technically stops the combo. I mean, the, yeah, that's true. But then you draw. Quick study, maybe. So they have to have land verdict to not be dead. And then they're dead if I draw a land or cast, cast Oath of Nissa in the Castle Garen Brig. Although they say that they misclicked. Press F to doubt. 
Oh, they had Sunfall. I'll just show my the other uh, Dino. Uh, okay. So forty-one and eight. Cage. They're on Atlanta. Yeah, but also like the day. Or, yeah, maybe they're all traveling too. That's a good point. That's also why I felt kind of comfy streaming this. Is like most of the people are already there. I'm getting in kind of late. Maybe maybe one person pivots the deck. Greasy, greasy, greasy. Oh, Amelia. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we get, to, we get to play the matchup. Um, very happy to have won the die roll. Wait, no, I lost the die roll. I just have an elf in play. I'm going to play Kiora here. I'm gonna take the land. I'm not. I think it's kind of close between that and a second Hydra. Could Tumor Sabretooth be something what versus Amelia? Sure, you need to have two men up, but I feel it could also be. I mean, what, is, what does it even do? You just slowly turn your creature and then die to them attacking for 20, right? I feel like I'm missing something. All right, so I got a Coco. Oh, it gains indestructible. I didn't know that. EDH only play. I think I'm just going to cast a Troll. Hope for the best. Yes, yeah, it's it's just too late to test it, but I, I like I, the, the thought. The thought is interesting for sure. I don't know. What, I don't know if you could main deck it, but it also draws a card of Kiora. Okay, Coco being Coco, just not hitting anything good. A lot of good draws from us too. Oh yeah, I don't know why the overall record I keep. So I keep doing something to it. Yeah, I just clicked the hidden button on accident. It's cool, just lets you have an extra turn to next tech. Yeah, they're gonna they're usually gonna carry the following turn. I agree. So I really want to X equals four. So I get to draw a card. Just sink all of her mana into it, I guess, this turn. Fight the wild growth walker. Um, probably attacking for four. Although I'm like a little bit worried about fueling return to the ranks. Probably just correct to attack, especially especially with the extra Kioras in the uh, hand. Don't really need to worry that much about losing one. They have cord. Maybe, probably. They don't have cord. And I was getting kind of weak vibes from them. I don't know. Pretty likely I sacked this for us. So I think I don't want to put it on the Haven. Pelucranos World Eater? No thanks. But I appreciate the suggestion. I feel like my plan's about as good as it's going to get. They shocked? Did they? Just bluffing Corn. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I, I'm not, I'm not going to add Pelucranos. That card is like pretty weak. It is so much mana to kill a melee at instant speed. It's what five mana at instant speed. It just seems like so difficult to hold up. Oh, they shocked her besage you. <laughs> Let's go. You can't put on Citadel. I was gonna, I was gonna put on this forest potentially, so I could uh, tap for three mana instead of two. And then untap with Kiora. Maybe I gestured wrong. 
So we can't fight and kill both of these. Let's just cast a Titan of Industry. And then I'm going to do Shield Counter plus 4-4. Four, four. Draw two. Nykthos would be nice, but I'll also accept my opponent drawing horribly, like they have been. Which means my Bastion to Troll. I, I just realized how popular Phoenix and Rakdos were. And also, I added Vivian to the deck, and Troll's a lot better with Vivian in the deck. Speaking of Vivian... Yeah, this speed fight can be okay. I think I'm just I'm gonna just win this game. I don't know the amount, like I feel like the combo also just does this a lot of the time. Like collecting company is just like I don't know. Maybe maybe they should have mulligan their hand or something. Probably not. Can you see a melee combo in modern? I think almost definitely not. Like it seems significantly worse than devoted druid combo, which is also not very good. Um. I'm also, like, not convinced Amelia is, like, super-duper good in Pioneer, but I, I could be convinced. I mean, I don't know. Like, they, if they had Amelia, they could have cast it right now. Or they could still cord for it. Yeah, I mean, if the last card's cord, then I, I get to eat my words, huh? But I can leave my Titan of Industry back to block, I guess, and then... I can play another one. Have two in play. I really want to get play this Vivian this turn, though, if possible. Looks like because I drew Castle Garenbrig, I get to easily do do both. Let me go ahead and just um, cast this. Could also gain five. Drawing the extra card is pretty important. Yeah, we'll just we'll just make a four four and then another shield counter. It is kind of funny how relevant these shield counters are. Do we Hydra the Walker and just pray? I wanted to do this first to see what we draw, but I think there's, I think I most, I probably just want to instead, um, play Vivian and set up to just cast Ulamog if they combo. I think this is probably a better line. Don't really need to play this elf. Yeah, I think we're just chilling. Yeah, we could Vivian minus, but it's just like, if they have Cord, Vivian minus is like, Oh no, we just lost instead of being able to go uh, let the combo happen, block, and then um, win the game. Although maybe we lose to like return the ranks. I don't think so because they also have to find Dina. It does kind of feel like they have it. They just make a food token though. Why do you put two counters on the summoning sick one? Is there no reason to attack with Hydro Tramplers? Well, yeah, I mean, I decided I wasn't good to attack, so I just put it on one of them. What the fuck? I haven't seen that. Why are they... Is it because they can explore and find it and cast that? It's pretty scary. I'm going to Emrakul. Oh, wait, no, I, do I just kill them with Wake Root Elemental? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight lands. They're all 5-5 five, five haste. They block six of them. Yeah, they just did the Wake Root. I can, I, I can kill one of the blockers also. It's cool. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's scary though. Guess let's go to play two elves for more faster mana. Make sure they're uber dead. They they are uber dead. Yeah, this deck has been really really good, for sure. 
Wake Root, sometimes infinite mana Nykthos. Yeah, currently infinite mana with Nykthos. And then it can also... We also get to turn all of our lands into 5-5 five, five hasters here. If we don't draw anything else off the Hydra. And that's uh, it's another removal spell. Just to have one more blocker. But they're, they're already just dead on board. Oh, I didn't realize that triggered on death also. Should be fine. Oh, the wake root couldn't block. Okay, well that was the worst target then. Don't know why my opponent's not F6, but maybe they are now. Entropy engine with the 23 months. Thank you, welcome back. Guess I play this for more devotion. Although I guess also killing specialist was better. It's okay, they're dead. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. It's our first Wake Root game, but Wake Root just being Vivian a bull infinite combo is really nice. This is good infinite, yeah. Turns all your lands into five fives and gives you infinite mana. Okay. So I have experimented with a lot of different sideboard plans. Um, tentatively, I'm just minus two trolls for two rune stones. Why no elemental mana is one of? Because it's not a very good draw a lot of the time. Uh, we did we did play it in the main deck. We even played it as a one main deck with Genesis Hydra. We tried like three or four copies of the main at one point. Um, but I, I found that this is the best formula. Just have a one of two to target for Vivian. It's been pretty good. It's like only good when you have Nykthos and a lot of devotion in play. It's just pretty more card. You can for Lotus Hydra for Rex. You should cut Titan for Rex. Kind of depends if they have like any weird cyborg plan too. Yeah, there is coverage. Corey said he might get me in a feature match too. Did I play test with the team? I did play test with the team. The best team there is. The chat of twitch.tv slash aspiring spike. And then uh, also by myself off stream in leagues. Yeah, I think Rooster is better than Cage because it stops uh, Parhelion. It is, you know, it, it, it is one more man in this matchup. I think that's okay. Uh, hand makes a lot of mana. No elf on the draw is kind of tough, though. I'm going to keep. It's just kind of hard to beat those super fast draws on the draw anyways. They'll turn to Gilded Geese. Maybe they're, maybe they're keeping push up that turn. Did you get a cut of the winnings? You you might you get you'll get a cut in the winnings in terms of timeless content, maybe. <laughs> the most valuable winnings of all. Uh, some good options here. I think I'm taking Vivian. It's kind of weird, but Vivian's so important in this matchup. And next turn, I can I can I get to play one big thing. Um, hopefully, like kill a combo piece, or maybe uh, maybe like you know, hope their Coco isn't good here. Um, and then I can I can also cast like any big thing on Vivian if I play it. I have like you know the second Citadel is like a relevant land drop next turn with the castle. Did the recent ban change what I was playing? I, I was, no, I mean, they banned the Karn, so of course it changed what I was playing. But uh, I was playing this, like, Merfolk list for a while that was really good against uh, Discover Combo. 
There's the Malia. So we're dead if they can find a, a plus a life gain card. So we're dead if they can find a wild growth walker. Those Oath of Dissa work for Citadel extra mana. Um, I don't think there's any synergy there. I'm a, bit, a little confused as to like what you think is the synergy. Dead. Game three. Get to be on the play for game three. Have you broke for close? It's in the Moxville, I think. I don't know. I, I kind of scrapped it. I, it is also pre Copter ban. You probably play Copter with Pilgrimage. Vivian's been really good. I think she's been super, super good. Seems a bad matchup. I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's a bad matchup. You're really going to be an arena player? <laughs> I think so, yeah. I, I think I'm going to play some Timeless. <laughs> timeless looks pretty fun. With Vivian and Hydra, we need Poly K reach less. Yeah, we also have Titan for reach and Hornet Queen in the sideboard. Can't really mulligan these, I think. Seven to nine. Sounds maybe about right. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit less. Alright, I would actually I would actually like to mulligan this hand opponent. I accidentally kept. It was, uh, I, I judge, didn't mean to keep. Yeah, maybe we should be mulligan a little bit more aggressively. It just feels like on the play, hand with so much mana and a uh, Oath of Dissa to try to find gas. It's just, like, so hard to mulligan these. I, I do love that bat. I played it for the first card in the, uh, Twitch Rivals, and it was, I'm like, ah, oh, this card's sick. Okay. We should have with Haven first. Come on, dude! The first ramp player to ever flood. Aspiring Spike. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we surely will start drawing some gas soon. Come on, Hydra. Come on, Cityscape Leveler. I guess Vivian's probably too slow with noth nothing to fight. Oh, boy. Uh, so we're dead to a land because they could... Oh, we're dead now. Well, we're not dead. But we're in bad shape as they combo. And they don't have many good draws. Okay, I think I'm going to concede for time's sake because it is about time for me to pack for my flight that leaves in like four hours. Uh, a little bit less than four hours. But thank you for tuning in to this short stream. This is the deck we are playing in the regional championship tomorrow. That matchup is not very good, but you can win it sometimes. Maybe I'll mulligan uh, more aggressively. Maybe uh, I'll dodge the matchup. Maybe I'll get fucking lucky. But um, this is what I chose to play. 41-9, very good win rate. I'll take, you know, one bad matchup uh, in the uh, top decks. I'm going to raid friend of the stream, Amy. Amy is the best ever. My, I will soon be joining Amy as an, a full-time arena streamer. This was maybe our ma our last match.